Mr. Fairy. Written by Morgan de Cadier. Illustrated by Florian Piget. Everyone knows the forest is full of all kinds of fairies. There are morning fairies, brave fairies, sleepy time fairies, and even fairies that clean. And then there's Mr. Fairy. Hmm. Mr. Fairy is not a morning fairy. He cannot get up in time to wake the forest animals. He barely makes it to breakfast. Mr. Fairy is not a kissing fairy. He cannot make the couple kiss. He tries. He waves his wand. But all he gets are giggles. <laughs> Mr. Fairy is not a boo-boo fairy who fixes and heals and makes it all better. Mr. Fairy tries. He waves his wand. But the trees turn to pink fluff. <laughs> Mr. Fairy sighs. Oh, I cannot get it right. I'm the most useless fairy in the forest. I'm the fairy of nothing at all. Sad and unhappy, <clears throat> Mr. Fairy leaves his forest home. He flies far away to another very different forest. Mr. Fairy had never seen a forest like it. Here, everything is dark and gray and colorless. People walk around with their faces down, lost in the gloom of the streets. <clears throat> Just like Mr. Fairy, everyone here seems sad and unhappy too. <clears throat> Mr. Fairy wants to help. Hmm. Cautiously, he waves his wand. Suddenly, light bursts over the drab city walls in beautiful shades of color. One by one, smiles appear on the faces of the people. No longer feeling sad and unhappy, Mr. Fairy flies on. He sees people heading underground and decides to follow. Hmm. Mr. Fairy flies between the people, under arms and over bellies, waving his magic wand and flapping his tiny wings, he tickles everyone in his path. Soon, the whole train is rocking left to right with laughter. <laughs> that tickles, that tickles, they say, as they chuckle and smile. Excited by the changes in the people below, Mr. Fairy flies back up to the street. He 
sees more gloomy faces. What can I do now? He asks himself. Mr. Fairy tries. He waves his wand. And the umbrellas change into huge pink balls. Balls of cotton candy. The delight and happiness on the faces of the people reminds him of his friends back home. Immediately, he turns back toward the forest, his forest. Flying as fast as he can, he travels home. Something is worrying him. Mr. Fairy arrives and cannot believe his eyes. What happened to the colors of the forest? Where are all his happy forest friends? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? His friends call out, Mr. Fairy, Mr. Fairy, we are so, so glad you're back. We lost the gift of laughter. We've tried everything, but we are unable to find our smiles. Without a word, Mr. Fairy confidently waves his wand. <laughs> and color and laughter return to the forest. What Mr. Fairy had not known was he was not the most useless fairy. He was not the fairy of nothing at all. Mr. Fairy finally realized that although he could not wake the forest or magic a kiss, he could make it all better in his own special way. <clears throat> Everyone knows the forest is full of all kinds of fairies. There are morning fairies, brave fairies, sleepy time fairies, and even fairies that clean. But there is only one who can make you smile, who spreads happiness and joy wherever he goes. And his name is Mr. Fairy. <laughs> don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of storybooks brought to life. My favorite story on books is The Unicorn and Horse because the horse feels like he's, well, not beautiful, but he actually is. I'm going to explore more on books, and you should too. Don't wait around. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vox app for free today.